Hello everyone, this is Scabcat242. Here's my review on the Star Wars Vintage Collection Cassian Andor from the Andor series. And this is him in the, I guess you want to call it an Imperial uniform. I don't know the exact name for that, but I gotta say this is a pretty okay figure. Um, this is a mold, which has been reused already. Um, so it was used on the Imperial Driver as you can see here, the chest plate, the same. The lower half of the uniform, same. Legs are the same, just different paint apps. Yeah, the back, it's got the same holster. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna see a lot of usage of this mold, which I'm okay with because with um, Imperial uh, troops, you're gonna see that. Oh, well, actually, no, wait. The lower half of the, of the, I guess the uniform is a little different than this one. So I guess that's one thing that makes it unique. So let's take a look at the card art really quick. Now, the one thing that's really confusing, he's holding that blaster, but they gave him this little pistol. So it would have been nice if it would have gave him both, but I don't know, that's Hasbro for you. So one thing. Focus. Come on. So one thing I was not expecting, I thought the hat was going to be molded on. It actually comes off and it's made out of a soft material. Now fortunately this will be a problem if it gets lost. Part of me is kind of tempted to glue it on, but I have plans for this figure. The head sculpt pretty, looks pretty okay. It does look like the, the actor Dago Luna. But um, I'm probably going to pop his head off. I'm going to make a custom Imperial Field Commander with this figure. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I wouldn't mind seeing this uh, mold for other Imperial Commanders. Oh yeah, and then of course that pistol he comes with. And that fits here. And his holster right there. So articulation is pretty good. Ball, it's on a, on a ball joint right there. Ball joint shoulders. Uh, ball joints in the elbow, through the hinge there. Great wrist articulation with a hinge. Upper torso movement. And surprisingly, the legs are not hindered by the uniform. It's made of a softer material even though it is kind of tricky to get the legs moving. Uh, single joints in the legs, they don't go too far back. And really good angle pivot. So, yeah, so this is a pretty good figure, but I definitely see a lot of pe collectors and customizers definitely making different characters at this body. So, he's an okay figure. Um, for me, he's going to be for for custom purposes but yeah for what he is i think he's pretty good so hope you enjoyed watching and feel free to leave a comment down below and thanks for watching